of Jesus Christ, your Son, and with the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, Lord, we acknowledge your presence sa kalagitnaan namin, Panginoon. And we would like to thank you sa pagkakataon na meron kami upang makapurihan mo. And sa pagkakataon na we are going to share about your words and we are going to understand yung nature mo bilang aming Panginoon, aming tagapagligtas, aming tagapagtanggol. God, allow us to understand it in full kung paano gusto mo maisakatuparan ang plano mo sa bawat uh, kapatid ko and even sa akin. We thank you for everything and kung ano man yung kasalanan, kakulangan namin, Lord, we are asking for your forgiveness. Maraming maraming salamat, Panginoon. This is our prayer. In Jesus' name. Amen. So, yun po, uh, umalik na naman nga ang for a few hours ng Dubai to 8 o'clock. And... We know that, so it will be quick, mga kapatid. And uh, sige po, basahin natin kung ano yung nakasulad sa Deuteronomy chapter 31, verses 12 to 13. Allow me to read it. Assemble the people, men, women, and children, and the foreigners residing in your towns, so they can listen and learn to fear the Lord your God, and follow carefully all the words of this law. Their children who do not know this law must hear it and learn to fear the Lord your God as long as you live in the land you are crossing the Jordan to possess. Amen. Lord God, we thank you for this word. Amen. So mga kapatid, uh, ito po yung ang book of Deuteronomy is sabi nga eh, pagre-review pagre or pag-uulit kung ano yung mga sinabi ng Panginoon through Moses. Uh, laws were given from the book of um, Leviticus, Numbers, and binalikan yan lahat ni Moses when he is about to die. And ibibigay niya na yung pangangalaga sa mga Israelita kay, uh, kay Joshua. And marami po sa mga uh, Israelita during that time did not hear the words. Kaya sinasabi, assemble them all. Uh, women, men, kasama yung children. Ang, sa ang sabi dyan, so they can listen and learn to fear the Lord your God and follow carefully all the words of His law or this law. It is very important na may foundation po talaga ang ating buhay pananampalataya. It is written in the book of Proverbs that train the children, di ba? Sa mga murang uh, edad pa lang, train them so that they would know where to go habang sa pag, ano nila, pag, paglaki or pagtanda. And sa book of Deuteronomy, rin, we can uh, get our title uh, from that book or from that... Uh, chapter uh, verses uh, na we have to listen and as we listen we are going to learn and when you learn you would know how to live yung mga words po na yan uh, it brings emphasis sa book of Deuteronomy first you have to listen for those who graduated uh, TMA and even it is being reminded to us by Bishop that uh, children, mga anak, yun yung laging sinasabi ni Bishop, we all have to listen. Mahirap po sa isang taong uh, distracted, disturb ang mind or attention to listen. Hanggat hindi magbibigay ng full attention to the person who is speaking and to the subject that is being taught. Ang attention po ng buhay ng tao, you cannot get the full uh, alam nyo po yung comprehension or yung pagkakapuha kung ano talaga yung sinasabi kung distracted ang mind mo yes, you may be physically here but your mind is distracted mm -hmm. hindi mo makukuha in full yung message kaya assemble them all and napakahirap din po na yung second hand information and even yung third hand sabi ni ganito, ganito daw ang gawin sabi ni ganito, ganito yung gawin Kaya ang sabi ni Moses, assemble them all, assemble them all, kasama yung children, so that they can get it first hand. Galing kay Moses mismo, and it is very important these days na alam mo kung paano ka makikinig sa salita ng Panginoon. Uh, quarantine happened, ilang buwan na, dalawang buwan na, more than, 
Were you able to listen to God directly? O baka naman puro preaching yung pinapanakinggan natin? O baka naman uh, declaration or revelation ng Lord sa ibang tao yung nakukuha mo? No problem with it because that's part of listening. But we know na ang faith natin may establish from God alone and that uh, requires your time, a place where you can meet God. And alam niyo po yung isang lugar where God would be able to freely talk to you and kaya mo siyang mapakinggan without any distractions. Mm -hmm. Ang problema kasi sa ngayon, earbuds, earphone. Di ba? So, so, hindi natin alam na baka yan mga bagay pala na yan that makes your mind busy. Mm -hmm. Why not tanggalin natin minsan ang earphones and uh, sit down with the Word of God? For we know, sabi ni Sister Resi kanina, God speaks. Yes, He is speaking. Sometimes in the lives of other people, and that's true preaching. Wala pong problema yun. But, the first-hand information, or the first-hand, yung revelation na magagaling sa Panginoon, we are going to treasure that. Yun yung sinabi ni Bishop last week na, if you would learn how to sit down before God, mm -hmm. amazing kung ano yung mga bagay ang i-reveal niya sa iyo during that time. And yun yung mga bagay din na babaunin ng puso mo. Na minsan, sa pag-sit down mo sa Kanya, you learned something. Mm -hmm. So we listen, <coughs> we learn, and we know how to live. Ngayon, mga kapatid, if we listen frequently to something, gaya niyan, uh, Nung nasa Pilipinas po kami, no, uh, part of the training is dapat alam mo yung sinasabi mo. You know how to speak. Sabi pa nga sa nung nasa call center po is, uh, how are you going to speak clearly in English kung hindi ka nanonood ng English movies? Ganun daw yung training. Now, uh, if re you frequently listen to something, you would adapt. And alam po natin yan na sino sa atin yung may mga katrabahong ibang lahi na without you uh, noticing it, you are getting their accent. Yeah. Same, same. <laughs> the more you hear these things, yun na rin yung nagagawa mo, tama po. And pag umuwi tayo sa Pilipinas, without you noticing it, you are getting their accent. And kung hindi mo man nakuha yung accent, you know how to distinguish it. Ah, British. Ah, Italian. Ah, Diba? Pinoy. Pinoy. Pinoy na Pinoy. Alam mo i-distinguish ang accent because you know kung ano yung difference ng mga ganitong bagay. And sa tao, kung minsan nakakulungkot no, na we don't know the accent of God when it comes to His voice, maraming nagtatanong, hindi ko alam si Lord ba talaga yung narinig ko. Because we are not familiar, we are not used to hear God's word. And the pinakamasakit pa is, hindi mo alam buksan yung Biblia mo. So, uh, I was so blessed na even during quarantine, may call to uh, buy a Bible. May ganyan pa rin pagkakataon and marami pong nag-order mga kapatid. Kung kailan na-deliver na yung Bible, saka maraming nagpahabol. <laughs> Pero, it is very important, at least hindi pa naman din uh, huli ang lahat. Your personal relationship, you always hear that to us or from other people who know God. You listen to Him. Let us all listen to Him so that we would know how to learn, to learn to live this life. Now, alam niyo po bang mga kapatid, there was one time when Jesus has, uh, during His ministry, let's open in the book of John, chapter 12. Let's open it in verse 28. Let's start in verse 28. Ito during his ministry, meaning tao si Jesus. 100% men na nakakapagsalita. So, ang sabi dyan, Father, John chapter 12, verse 28, Father, glorify your name. Then a voice came from heaven. Ang naging kwento po nito is that sinabi ng mga alagad niya, um, may narinig kami. May narinig kami. Ang sabi, din, sabi ni Jesus, Father, glorify your name. Then a voice came from heaven. Ang sabi, I have glorified it. And we glorify it again. The crowd that was there and heard it, 
said it had thundered. Others said an angel had spoken to him. But this is what Jesus said to them. This voice was for your benefit, not mine. When I read it, this voice, yung voice na yun ang akala ng mga tao, thunder, akala ng tao, anghel, but Jesus said, it is not for me. It is not for, not for my benefit, but for you. And that simply magnifies na yung salita po ng Panginoon, the word that Jesus was hearing during His ministry that was given to us through His word or through the Bible was not for Him. Sabi ng Lord, uh, sabi ni Jesus, Father, glorify your name. Ang sabi ng Father, I glorified it already and will glorify it again. And these people who, who, does, who don't know or who were not familiar, yung sinasabi natin accent or language ng uh, father, they thought it was a thunder. For them, it was a thunder. For them, it was an angel. But Jesus being familiar to the voice of his father, he said, hindi yan for me, but for you. I hope it brings encouragement, my dear brothers and sisters, that when God speaks through other people, or directly speak through His words, we would know kung ano talaga yung message ng Panginoon. You sit down so that we would be able to be familiarized <coughs> sa language ng Lord. Mm -hmm. Amen. Alam natin madistinguish if it's you, baka emosyon mo lang yan, baka emosyon ng ibang tao, you test the spirit. So it is a matter of being familiar, knowing deeply ang boses ng Panginoon and that is through His words. Mm -hmm. Imagine, no, ang sabi ng Panginoon, ang sabi ng iba, thunder, gulo, kumidlat, umulan. Alam, ang tao, alam na alam ang diferensya ng ibon, tunog ng ibon, sa tunog ng aso. Tama! Alam mo na kung hayop yung nagsasalita or humuhuni. We know that kasi kaya, kaya ng mind mo or kaya ng mind natin. And alam, babalikan ko po, alam na kung ibang nationality. That's how broad our mind can store things. Kung minsan nalilimitahan pagdating sa salita ng Panginoon. I hope uh, in whatever ways God would speak to us, alam natin as si Lord yun ang usap. Ah, may gustong sabihin si Lord. Even in dreams. But be careful na kasi baka pag-distracted ang tao, because of your many cares, yes, you will have your dreams. Na isipin mo, si Lord yun ang usap, bothered ka lang pala. Diba? So, still an assessment, ano ba talaga ang nangyayari na sa akin? Now, my dear brothers and sisters, during quarantine, sa loob ng 24 hours, ilang beses mo nang nakausap si Lord talaga na siya lang. Wala yung ibang tao. Kung hindi pa, then let's start. Let's do it tonight. Kasi Sister Roxanne, nanonood naman ako ng preaching. Nakikinig naman ako sa mga preachers na nagbabible study din. nag online preaching. Wala pong problema. But make sure in your 24 hours, you would sit down to God. Mas importante po yun. And mas importante din na may physical Bible ka. Para kasi ang minsan ang Bible, if, it not, if it's not working offline, then you have to turn on your Wi-Fi and may mga pas papasok na messages sa WhatsApp or sa Messenger, which will distract you definitely. So, alam ko po yan, dan danas ko din po yan, kaya kaya kong magsalita of this kind of, sa ganyang mga bagay. Ngayon, my dear brothers and sisters, we have to understand na yung hearing will develop your submission kasi narinig mo siya ng buo so alam mong sumabnit and that will bring out your obedience <coughs> mahirap mag-obey if you didn't hear it in full full context yung gaya, second hand information sabi ni ano, magamito daw tayo 
ikaw may question ka kasi wala ka doon. That same scenario when God spoke to Adam when he gave a command about the knowledge, the fruit of the knowledge of good and evil because Eve, Eva, uh, Adam and Eve, Eve was not there. Second hand yung, in, yung information. Yes, narinig niya, but hindi niya nakuha ng buong-buo yung command ng Panginoon. And there is a danger. So, ang Biblia po, sobrang daming example na ibinibigay when it comes to how to live life. And your uh, inability na mag-listen, yung hearing, meron pong sakit. Ang tao na I really hope hindi natin yan uh, ma-experience, yung deaf ka na, blind ka pa. Mm-hmm. And sa medical, it is existing that there are people, okay naman sila, but in their teenage life, unti-unti nawawalan yung sense of hearing. And then, after a few years, mawawala na rin yung sight. Mapalad yung mga years spent na alam nila, nakita nila kung ano itsura ng mga magulang nila. But papano yung iba na hindi? Not at all. And it is existing. Ang tawag dyan, death blindness. Spiritually speaking, baka pumunta tayo sa ganun. Hindi ka na makarinig, hindi ka na rin makakita because of our sin. And I really hope hindi dumating yung ganyang stage ng buhay pa na ng palataya ng bawat isa na bingi ka na sa katotohanan, bingi ka sa truth, and you choose to be blind before the Word of God. Napakahirap po niyan. Just imagine, naglalakad ka, but you are not hearing anything. May sasakyan sa likod mo, but because you cannot hear, masasagasaan ka. And hindi ka na nga makarinig, blind ka pa. How? How is life pag ganyan? Napakahirap. So, mapalad po tayo na naturuan, at least hindi na tayo, or nawawag tayong dumating sa pagiging death blindness when it comes to faith. Lagi tayong magpaturo sa Panginoon na, Lord, just help us to clear our minds, ang aming mga tenga na maging sensitibo sa, uh, sa boses ng Panginoon. And alam niyo po, uh, uh, I'll finish it here. When I was young, pa, uh, sa Pilipinas, alam ko kung kailan darating ang tatay ko. Based, da, based sa sa tulog ng motor. <laughs> Totoo yan. And kung uh, nanunod man yung pamilya ko, hindi ko alam kung minsan nanunod sila. I know that. <coughs> Out of uh, maraming mga motor na dadaan sa gabi, pero pag malayo pa lang, narinig ko na yung motor na papa ko. O buksan nyo na yung pinto. O buksan nyo na yung gate. Kasi kung minsan, gusto nung pinagubuksan nyo saan siya ng gate. And I can speak to hearing well. Kung familiar ka. Mm-hmm. So, minsan sasabihin, ah, hindi siya yan. Pansinin mo yung ano, yung, <laughs> yung tulog ng silin niya to. That's being so familiar to the person you love. At pag alam mo hindi siya yun, hindi ka pala labas. Diba? At kung alam mo siya yun, you would know how to act and react. Diba? Lalo kung magagalit siya na hindi ka bukas yung gate at yung pintuan. So, what is the point, my dear brothers and sisters? Narinig niyo sa akin, we heard so much about COVID-19. We heard a lot. And we keep on hearing things. We keep on hearing things. Wala namang pong problema. But are we hearing the side of God pagdating sa ganitong pandemic? Kung ano ba talaga yung gusto ng Panginoon to each and everyone? Why these things has to happen? Or these things are happening? And buksan po natin sa book of John. 1 John chapter 4 verse 5. They are from the world and therefore speak from the viewpoint of the world. And the world listens to them. Ganito po kung minsan ang tao, madalas. Mm-hmm. Ulitin ko po, they are from the world and therefore speak from the viewpoint of the world and the world mm-hmm. listens to them. We are from God and whoever knows God listens to us. 
But whoever is not from God does not listen to us. This is how we recognize the spirit of truth and spirit of falsehood. Ngayon, who are you listening to? John 8.47, sabi dyan, they did not belong to us. Whoever is from God, is of God, hears the word of God. And the reason why you do not hear them is that you, the reason why you do not hear is because you are not from God. Napakasakit niya. Kaya kailangan po, alam natin pakinggan ang ating Panginoon. And last verse, John chapter 5 verse 25, Most assuredly I say to you, the hour is coming, and now is, when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God, and those who hear will live. Let's jump to 37 and 38, And the Father himself who sent me has testified of me. You have neither heard his voice at any time nor seen his form, but you do not have his word abiding in you because whom he sent, whom you do not believe. Hmm. Pag hindi ka naniniwala, hindi ka makikinig. At pag hindi ka nakinig, wala kang matututunan. Ignorance. So, mga kapatid, yun lang po. Let us be wise uh, when it comes to the word of God. And yun lang po yung may share ko sa araw na ito. And allow me to pray. Hallelujah. Father God in heaven, Lord, once again, through your son Jesus Christ, we thank you for today. Thank you God for reminding us that you are still speaking these days. Salamat Panginoon sa mga ganitong opportunity na we'd be able to have a connection with you. All we have to do is to sit down and have a communion sa aming Panginoon at aming, uh, aming Ama. We thank you Lord for everything. Continue to be glorified and be magnified. This is our prayer. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.